Hi, I'm Nick and we're here with The Wing. Today we're going to be looking at the Wing Live expansion card. The Wing ships with the Wing Live card already installed. The Wing Live card has two slots, A and B, allowing you to record 32 channels to each SD card slot, 64 at the same time. We recommend using Class 10 32GB SD cards and ensure that these are formatted to FAT32. You can also format your cards from the console itself. To do this, push the card or USB icon at the top of the screen. When a card is installed, its icon will be shown in white. When there is no card detected, it will be grey. Once in the SD card menu, press the cog at the top of the screen to access the settings. From here, you can now format your SD card. Next, we need to route signal into our Wing Live card. This is done from the routing menu. For more information on routing signal to our Wing Live card, please see our user signal or output routing video. It's also worth noting that channels 1 to 32 will record onto SD card A and channels 33 to 64 will be on card B. Once we have our signals routed to the Wing Live card, we need to return to the Wing Live card menu. If we now press the record button, this will begin recording our session. Whilst recording, if you push the icon on the right hand side below the recorder, this will insert a marker to your session. When you're completed recording, press stop. To view all recordings on your SD card, press the folder icon. You can now select between your various sessions. If you push the right arrow icon at the top of the SD card menu, this will allow you to then rename your session or to adjust where your markers are placed. To update your markers, first select the marker you would like to update. The position of this marker will then be displayed on the bar on the bottom left hand corner. Simply drag and drop to where you would like the marker to now be placed. Once in the correct position, press the update button. You have now moved the marker and you are ready to proceed. You can also delete sessions and markers from this menu. You can also play back your sessions as full multi-track recordings into the channels on the Wing. To do this, all you need to do is set the input for that channel to the corresponding Wing Live Play channel. For more information on routing inputs, please see our previous video on input routing. We always recommend ensuring that you have the correct number of playback channels to the number of channels that you are recording. Another tip that we would recommend is to use the alternate input for your channel. We would recommend doing this because you can then switch between your input source and the Wing Live playback quickly. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to use the oscillator that is built into the Wing. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when new content is available. Thanks again.